Hi everyone. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We all we are blessed. Yes, this time is time of Lent, and we pray may God grant us the grace to overcome every temptation of evil one. In Jesus' name, Amen. So we are gonna talk about uh, being in the presence of our Lord. Be in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ is what we are going to talk about today. Be in the presence of God, our Creator. Because I think that is uh, the highest thing and the beautiful thing that will happen to you. For you to be in the Lord, in the presence of our God. You know, uh, David said, I rejoice when I heard them say, let's go to the presence of God. Let's go to the temple of our Lord. So I believe that you and I, especially this uh, Lenten season now, that we are going to be happy to meditate about being in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Creator. Yeah, guys, see that love that David is trying to tell us how he enjoyed being in the presence of our Lord. Psalm 84, verse 10. Tells us that one day spent in your temple is better than thousands elsewhere one day you see it's one day that is spent with god in his temple or in your house but you know meditating about god being in the presence of god is better than thousands of years elsewhere just one day that you be with god so please let us hungry to be in the presence of god let, let us because that is the only thing i can say that when we talk of, of god we say god created everything god created heaven and earth so i i love those that uh, notice this uh, great thing it is a great thing to serve God. It is really a great thing to serve God, to be in the Lord. It is a great thing to be in the Lord. Please, I assure you that you will find joy. You will find strength to be in the Lord. Keep it up. Especially this length. You know, we are talking about how we are going to be strong. Because our master Jesus went to desert to pray for this season we are into now. Lenten season. As I have already said that Ecclesiastes tells us there is time for everything. This time is time of Lent. And you and I, let us participate. Don't be behind. Okay? Come forward. Try to read your Bible as you can. Ask Holy Spirit to explain that for you. Because it's a word of spirit. God is a spirit that exists on his own. God is a spirit. So may he grant us that Holy Spirit to explain his word as long as we are reading it. And by the special grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will understand it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, this Lent, I want you to participate fully. I want you to participate fully. Okay? You and I have read the places, those that are find joy following Christ, how it burns like fire in them. Okay? So, I love you guys. We are 
are richly blessed. You and I, we are blessed. Yes. Your God never die. Your God is alive forever. He's that God of yesterday. That God of David we are talking about now. is God today and God forever. Your children, children, we're going to proclaim about our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why Peter also noticed this wonderful thing. You know, through the transfiguration, we call it mystery of light. Jesus took Peter, James, and John to a high mountain where he was transfigured. And his clothes became so white. He became so white that no kind of amount of bleach will get that white I'm trying to explain. And Peter saw Moses because Moses appeared. Elijah appeared. And uh, Peter was so happy. He said, oh, it's good that we are here. It's good for us to be here. You don't want to go. You don't want to leave that presence of God because he's seen many, many things, you know, all together. He's seen anointing. He's seen power in the presence of God. So you don't want to even leave that area. You don't want to even leave Christ again. You don't want to. He said, it's good that we remain here. It's good that we remain what here. <laughs> yes. No one will ever come to Christ and remain the same. Because he will transform you. That's why we call it mystery of light. In, during the time of transfiguration, many things happen. In the presence of God. That being the presence of God that most, uh, David always happy. To be in his presence because you know that with him he's <laughs> he's really strong and he will surely defeat his enemy so this length let us participate because during this time christ you know he prayed day and night 40 days for him to conquer and you and i are testifying that you know what the devil said holy man of god have you come to destroy me so because he loaded oh <laughs> gara we disloaded jesus we disloaded so you and i hence we believe in praying my dear we are loaded we will conquer our enemy because prayer is the key if he is not the key christ won't go and pray so that he will conquer his enemy. Prayer is the only solution of our trouble. That is why this time around, time of Lent, people fast. People try to do good. Because we use good to conquer evil. May God strengthen us to be good people so that we will also conquer our enemy. A good character is like a prayer. He use a good character to conquer bad people. He used prayer to conquer bad people. That is why a prayerful child of God is a powerful child of God. When you are prayerful, that makes you a powerful child of God. Okay? When you wake up in the morning, you can pray. Sister, brother. When you wake up in the morning, you can pray. In times of difficulty, you can pray. You go to God. You kneel down and pray. Call him. My dear, you can never go empty-handed. That is why the Jacob said, I will never leave you. He said, you bless me. You and I will never leave God without taking our blessing because he's our blessed redeemer. He's that merciful reality. What did you call your God? What do you call God? If you call God a merciful God, God will have mercy for you. If you call God that blessed Redeemer, God will bless you. That is it. So I am giving you this good message today 
for you to have it strong with you. For you to hold it tight with you and conquer your enemy. Okay? So, please, please, let us know to be in the presence of God. As Peter said, it's good that we remain here. <laughs> because when you find something good, you don't want to leave that. You won't want to leave it. Well, I talk of Mary Mandeline. Why is it that he, she was the first person to see Christ? Because since ever she has been following Christ, he ha she has it in mind that this is Messiah, this is my Savior, this is the, the true God. And that God manifests himself to her. I beg you, if you have not subscribed for my channel, please do so. And God will bless you. This time is time of giving. You give people time to pray for them. You give people money. You give people counseling. You know, you love people. You try to give. And you will not lack because we say that a giver never lack. I think a giver never lack. So, thank you. Thank you. As you subscribe, leave your comments. Don't forget to hit that button side for more of my video. Okay? I love you guys. And Christ loves us most. Because you know yourself more than as I do. And God know you more than you know yourself. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But God knows it. I myself, I don't know what you plan, but, but you know what you plan. But God have the final say. So please, always pray to your God. Pray to your God. Mr. David, in terms of prayer, a powerful child of God is a prayerful child of God. A powerful child of God is a prayerful child of God. Be prayerful. Call God and he will answer you. Call him and God is ready because he creates us for us to serve him. So whenever we call him, he gives ear and he will answer us. So thank you, thank you everyone. Please subscribe, share, comment. Thank you, thank you once again. We are blessed. And cover, I cover everybody with precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. One love, guys. One love forever. One love, one love, one love. Amen and amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. May your day be... Full with joy all the days of your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kiss, my Jesus kiss. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.